हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑल द वर्ल्ड ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स राजेश स्मिथ स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ लीनियर इनइक्वालिटीज लीनियर इनइक्वालिटीज व्हाट इज एक्चुअली लीनियर एंड व्हाट इज एक्चुअली इनइक्वालिटीज लीनियर मींस इफ एन एक्सप्रेशन और एन इक्वेशन कंटेनिंग ओनली डिग्री 1 दैट इज कॉल्ड अ लीनियर इफ द एक्सप्रेशन कंटेनिंग only of first degree that is ax plus by equals to c or ax plus by plus c equals to 0 that is called a linear equation linear equation into variables x and y next ax plus by are less than c or ax plus by greater than c और एक्स प्लस बी वाई लेस देन इक्वल्स टू सी और एक्स प्लस बी वाई ग्रेटर देन इक्वल्स टू सी दीज आर कॉल्ड द लीनियर इन इक्वेशन लीनियर इन इक्वेशन वट इज एक्चुअली लीनियर इन इक्वेशन वट इज इक्वेशन एंड वट इज इन इक्वेशन एक्चुअली वट इज इक्वेशन वट इज इक्वेशन एंड एक्सप्रेशन दैट कंटेन्स एल एच एस and rhs and in between lhs and rhs if we put an equals to sign then that is called the equation okay then what is in equation what is in equation what is in equation if an expression contains lhs rhs and in between lhs and rhs if the sign of inequality inequality if the sign of inequality present that is the sign of inequality is less than or greater than or less than equals to or greater than equals to then that expression is said to be an inequation inequation if an equals to sign present then that is called equation if the sign of inequality is present in an expression then it is called an inequation okay next students actually what is sign of inequality sign of inequality sign of inequality what is sign of inequality less than greater than less than equals to greater than equals to these four are called the sign of inequalities generally the sign of inequalities are categorized into two types the sign of inequalities are categorized into two types what are they number 1 strict inequality strict inequality number 2 slack inequality slack inequality what are the strict inequality less than or greater than are called the strict inequality where h less than equals to or greater than equals to are called slack inequalities and these four combinedly called as the sign of inequalities okay while solving an equation you will get the solution depending upon the degree of the equation depending upon the degree of the equation for example Uh, I am taking x plus three equals to zero. This is an equation having degree one. So you can get x equals to minus three is the only solution because this equation is of having degree one. Hence you are getting only one solution. Suppose I have taking uh, I am taking another equation. Suppose say x square minus nine equals to zero. Then you will get x square equals to nine. and uh, this will be x equals to plus or minus 3 plus or minus 3 plus 3 minus 3 there are two roots of this equation or two solutions of this equation because this equation is of degree 2 this equation is of degree 2 hence it is called the quadratic equation and hence hence it contains two roots or two solutions that means that means an equation have the number of solution depending upon the degree of the equation okay if the equation is of first degree then it contains only one solution if the equation is of second degree or quadratic equation then it contains two solution and if the equation will contain the degree 3 
or 4 then the number of solutions will be according to if third degree equation 3 solution if fourth degree equation then 4 solution but to what about the linear inequality uh, in concern to linear inequality we can get a solution set solution set in contrast to equation you will get the solution set you will not get the solution you will get the solution set in linear inequalities why you will get solution set suppose say i have taken x less than 3 x less than 3 is the in equation okay so what will the solutions of these in equations x equals to x equals to x equals to if you take the set n if you take the set n you will get 1 and 2 as the solutions if you take the set n okay if you take the set w that is the set of whole numbers then you will get a 0 1 and a 2 okay as the solutions and if you take if you take the set of integers z then x equals to dot 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 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 okay if you take the set z and if you take the set r then the solution will be x belongs to minus infinite to 3 within the open interval okay so you see x less than 3 means there are so many solutions are coming okay na x less than 3 contains the natural numbers the whole numbers the integers and also the fractions or decimals also so so many numerous solutions are coming hence it is called the solution set or the set of solution okay so <coughs> now we will discuss some of the intervals regarding to this linear inequalities okay some of the examples of linear inequations are ax plus b less than c or ax plus b greater than c or greater than equals to or less than equals to c ax plus by less than uh, c or ax plus by greater than equals to c these are called linear inequations these are also called linear inequations but what is the difference between these two inequations are these equation these inequations are called a linear inequation in one variable whereas these are called a linear inequation in two variables okay now we will discuss about the solution or the procedures or the rules the rules to be followed while solving a linear inequation so what are the rules which are to be followed the rule number one is in any uh, inequality by solving you can add or subtract in both sides of the expression and the result will not affect at all that is suppose say this is called x plus 3 less than 5 is there then you can x plus 3 minus 3 less than 5 minus 3 I have taken minus 3 from LHS and RHS and the result will not affect at all. Okay. So, it will be x less than 2. C. In contrast to equation, suppose say x plus 3 equals to 5 is the equation, then you can get x equals to 5 minus 3 that is x equals to 2. Right. But uh, here it is the equation. In in equation, you cannot take to right hand side directly, rather you have to subtract minus 3 in both sides. Okay. So, you can write x less than 2 or x less than, you can write directly x less than 5 minus 3, but the mechanism in the background is going on like this, that x plus 3 minus 3 here 5 minus 3 this is the mechanism this is the background mechanism you can write x less than 5 minus 3 but the mechanism is this is not the equation you cannot take directly plus 3 towards the right hand side and you cannot write x less than 5 minus 3 because it is not an equation it is the inequation 
but you can write why because in the background this is going on x plus 3 minus 3 minus 3 I have taken minus 3 on both sides then it will come directly x less than 5 minus 3 that is x less than 2 similarly similarly in another example x minus 2 minus 2 greater than suppose 7 is there then you can add you can add plus 2 both sides x minus 2 plus 2 greater than 7 plus 2 remember minus 2 plus 2 cancel x greater than 9 ok so here also minus 2 cannot be shifted to right hand side at all because it is an in equation rather the mechanism is you just have to add plus 2 plus 2 but you can write x greater than 9 directly ok so this uh, rule number 1 what it says that in linear inequation while solving the linear inequation you can add or subtract add or subtract the linear inequation in both sides and the result will not affect at all number 2 number 2 if you multiply by a positive real number if you multiply by a positive real number the the inequation will not affect at all for example i have taken x less than 2 or we, uh, then we if you multiply by 3 in both sides then 3x less than 6 and this is the same result as x less than 2 okay but but remember 3 is less than 5 yes or no 3 is less than 5 but minus 3 and minus 5 which is greater minus 3 is greater minus 3 is greater so what it concludes what it concludes if you multiply by a negative sign on both sides in linear inequation if you multiply by a negative sign on both sides then the sign of inequality will change that is less than will be changed into greater than or less than equals to will be changed into greater equal greater than equals to and vice versa okay similarly if uh, suppose say this is 7 and this is 5 which is greater 7 is naturally greater than 5 but uh, in contrast to minus 7 and minus 5 which is greater minus 5 is greater so minus 5 is greater than minus 7 and the sign of inequalities is changed that means if you multiply by any negative number on both sides then the sign of inequality will change that is greater than will be converted into less than equals to and less than will be converted into greater than equals to okay next uh, number 3 the important uh, and uh, the most important concept of linear inequation see here 10 and 100 you compare just 10 and 100 you see 10 is less than 100 now just make reciprocal of these two numbers you will get 1 by 10 and 1 by 100 isn't it so now compare which is greater 1 by 10 is greater or 1 by 100 is greater naturally 1 by 10 is greater so what is the conclusion over here also conclusion is that if you make reciprocal of the numbers in both sides then the sign of inequality also changes less than becomes the greater than and greater than becomes the less than okay and the vice versa okay now we will uh, take the examples and the solutions we will uh, see the steps regarding uh, these rules also how to execute these rules ok students before going to take some examples and uh, exercise we will uh, learn the concept of intervals generally intervals are categorized into three types what are they what are they open interval closed interval semi open semi open or semi closed semi closed ok open interval closed interval semi open interval and semi closed interval suppose I am taking this type of interval that is called a b open interval or you can write like this a b open interval open the square bracket but opens outward what does it mean it means 
A cannot be counted and B cannot be counted but in between A and B all the numbers, all the natural numbers, all the integers, all the whole numbers and all the decimal numbers are also counted but A and B cannot be included that is A and B should exclude it. Then what is closed interval? Suppose I have taken A B within the square bracket then it is called A B closed interval. Then what is A B closed interval? It indicates all the numbers from A to B will be included. Will be included A to B. All the numbers from A to B will be included. A will be included. B will also be included. Okay. Now in semi open interval, suppose I have taken A within the closed interval, B within the open interval. Or, or we can write A within the closed interval and B in the open interval but like this then it indicates that all the numbers will be included from capital A okay up to B that means B will not be included B will not be counted okay so another example I am giving you A within the open interval and B within the closed interval then uh, it can also be right written as A within the open interval and B within the closed interval, right? So, it indicates that all the numbers, all the integers, all the fractions, all the decimals will be counted from A and A will not be counted up to B. Up to B, B will be counted or B will be included. A is not included, B is included. Right. So, these are all the intervals which will be very helpful for us in the DU course of linear inequalities. So, let us take some examples. Let us take some examples. Now, the example is solve 2x minus 4 less than 0 if x belongs to n, if x belongs to w, x belongs to z and x belongs to r. See. 2x minus 4 less than 0 is given then 2x less than 4 and x less than 2. Now consider these four particular cases in number 1 and considering the particular case when x belongs to capital N you can have x equals to all the numbers all the numbers which are less than 2. Now draw the number line suppose this is 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2 and you will find here minus infinite and here you will find plus infinite over here. Okay. Now x less than 2, x less than 2, here is 2, x less than 2 means these are all the numbers which will come under x less than 2. Now, from all these numbers you count, you decide which numbers belong to the natural numbers. Obviously, the number is 1 only. So, x equals to 1 only is the solution if you take x belongs to capital N. Okay. Next, number 2. If x belongs to W, that means if x is a whole number, then the whole number comes from 0, 1, 2, 3, da, 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 da. Then if you take x belongs to w, then x will be 0 and 1 only. 2 cannot be counted because x less than 2 is there. 2 is not less than 2. Hence, 2 cannot be counted. Okay. Next number 3, x belongs to z. x belongs to z means x belongs to the integers. The integers which are less than 2. The integers which are less than 2. What are they? x equals to dot 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 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 and 1 and 1. These are the all the integers which less than 2 which are less than 2. Now the surprising gift is your x belongs to r. x belongs to r. x belongs to r in x belongs to r all the solutions will come under x less than 2. Those numbers which are the natural numbers, the whole numbers, the integers, the decimals, the rationals, the irrationals, all these numbers will, will be under the real number R because R is the subset of, R is the superset of all the sets. Okay, now. So, X belongs to R. If you take uh, X belongs to R, then the solution set will be X belongs to minus infinite to 2 minus infinite to 2 okay 
minus infinite to 2 is the right solution. Okay. Moving towards to the next example. See 2x plus 3 greater than equals to x minus 7. Now always keep the variables in the left hand side and the constant towards the right hand side. Okay. So 2x minus x greater than equals to minus 7 minus 3. That is 2x minus x means x greater than equals to minus 10. 2x minus x x minus 7 minus 3 minus 10. x greater than equals to minus 10. So draw the number line. Suppose uh, this is uh, uh, this is minus 10, this is minus 9, right? This is minus 11, this will be minus infinite and it will be here plus infinite. x greater than equals to minus 10 means all the numbers will be covered from minus 10 to infinite. So, what will be the solution? x belongs to minus 10 to infinite, to infinite. So, minus 10 x greater than equals to minus 10 so minus 10 will be included and always the infinite in minus infinite will be put under the open interval under the open interval next moving towards the next example number 3 example suppose say 1 by x minus 2 less than 0 is given ok 1 by x minus 2 less than 0 is given see 1 by x minus 2 this is in the form of p by q this is in the form of p by q and p by q less than 0 less than 0 means negative ok now the consider the situation where p by q less than 0 that means numerator by denominator where it comes as negative if p and q have same sign same sign then p by q then p by q is always positive but if p and q have the opposite sign opposite sign opposite sign then always p by q less than 0 as 1 is always positive so to make 1 by x minus 2 less than 0 one can assume x minus 2 always less than 0 total expression less than 0 means negative when it will come when a and b or p or q or the numerator and denominator are of opposite signs as one is positive so this denominator should be negative so that p by q will be negative so x minus 2 less than 0 that means x less than 2 x less than 2 now draw the number line this is 2 this is 1 and this is 3 okay so this will be minus infinite here it comes the plus infinite x less than 2 x less than 2 means means all the numbers from 2 up to minus infinite so x belongs to x belongs to minus infinite to 2 okay infinite and minus infinite will be within the open interval here x less than 2 given so 2 is also be placed in the open interval okay next example x minus 1 divided by x minus 3 greater than equals to 0 x minus 1 by x minus 3 greater than equals to 0. Now see if the inequation is on the form of the form ax plus b by cx plus d greater than or less than or greater than equals to or less than equals to less than equals to 0 then just put ax plus b equals to 0 and put cx plus d equals to 0. Now solve ax plus b equals to 0, x will be equals to minus b by a. Now make cx plus d equals to 0, x will be called to minus d by c. Now put this num two numbers in the number line. Here it will be infinite, it will be minus infinite. If minus b by a is lesser, then it will be placed in the LHS and if minus d by c will be greater than minus b by a, it will be put in the RHS of minus b by a. The thing is that you have to remember the thing that the rule is the greater number will be placed in the RHS of the lesser number. So now this whole number line is divided into 1, 2, 3, 3 intervals. Now make make the sign as positive unchanging negative another change positive 
from RHS. This segment positive, negative, positive. It, if another segment will be there, it will be negative, then positive, it will be going like this. Okay. So, similarly, you solve this uh, uh, this inequation x minus 1 divided by x minus 3 greater than equals to 0. Now, just put x minus 1 equals to 0, it will be uh, as solved as x equals to 1. If you take x minus 3 equals to 0, then it will be come under x equals to 3. Now, here you will get minus infinite, here you will get plus infinite. Now, the whole number line is compartmented, divided into 3, 3 intervals. What are they? Minus infinite to 1, 1 to 3 and 3 to infinite. Now, make the sign as positive, negative, positive from RHS. Now, see the sign of inequality. It is greater than equals to 0 or uh, greater than equals to 0. Greater than equals to 0 means positive. So, when in which interval you are getting positive sign, you see minus infinite to 1 and 3 to infinite. Minus infinite to 1 and 3 to infinite. Therefore, x belongs to minus infinite to 1. Okay, minus infinite will be in the open interval and 1 will be in the closed interval because if you put x equals to 1, the whole sign will be equals to 0, whole expression will be equals to 0 and, and 3 to infinite, 3 to infinite, infinite and minus infinite are coming under of always open interval and 3 will be excluded, 3 will be excluded, why? Here greater than equals to sign is there, though greater than equals to sign is present, still 3 will be excluded. Why? Because if you put x equals to 3 over here, 3 minus 3 equals to 0 and something by 0 will be called as the, called as the infinite. So, 3 will be excluded and that is the right solution over here. Okay? Now, system of even equation is given. 2x minus 3 less than x plus 2 less than equals to 3x plus 5. Actually, this is the combination of two linear inequations and it is called a system of linear inequation. Okay. So, the first one is 2x minus 3 less than x plus 2 and the second one is x plus 2 less than equals to 3x plus 5. These are the two combinations and by combining these two, we can find the solution of this system of linear inequation. Now, 2x minus x less than 2 plus 3. Minus 3 will be plus 3. It implies 2x minus x means x less than 5. x less than 5. And, and x minus 3x less than 5 minus 2. Now, here it comes minus 2x less than 3. And you see, you see, while solving the linear inequation, you should always keep in your mind that the sign of x cannot be kept as negative. The sign of x always be positive. The sign of x is always positive. So, to make the sign of x as positive, here it is negative, you can multiply by a negative sign on both sides. And if you multiply by a negative sign, then the sign of inequality will always change. Next, 2x greater than minus 3 on multiplying by a minus sign. This is the rule. So, 2x greater than minus 3. Okay. So, x greater than minus 3 by 2. x greater than minus 3 by 2. Now, combine these two solutions. Combine these two solutions. Take the number line over here. See, this is minus infinite. This is infinite. X less than 5 means 5 is coming. Here, minus 3 by 2 is coming. See, X less than 5. X less than 5 means then all the solutions from 5 to infinite. Next, X greater than minus 3 by 2. X greater than minus 3 by 2 means minus 3 by 2 to up to infinite. Now, where you are finding the double lines? Where you are finding the double lines, it will be minus 3 by 2 to 5 and this is the combined solution. Then, therefore, the solution is x belongs to minus 3 by 2 to 5. x belongs to minus 3 by 2 up to 5 and this is the right solution. Actually, actually, students, x plus 2 less than equals to 3x plus 5 was there. So, I have forgotten actually x greater than equals to minus 3 by 2. So, minus 3 by 2 will be included. Minus 3 by 2 will be included and 5 will be excluded. And that's all for this system of linear inequations. Students, 
you can see we will have some particular type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 type of linear inequation this is all the fundamental concepts in this segment we will discuss type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 all the segments all the examples with exercise of different books we will discuss in uh, next videos so till then bye bye and take care